Recently, A's President Dave Cavill offered the opportunity to step foot on a place that has been equally discussed and dreamed about during the last 10 months, Charles P. Howard Terminal. Now, he gave us an exclusive, personally guided tour which led to five instant reactions after visiting that site for the very first time. Number one, Howard Terminal on the site is actually 55 acres in total, which sounds large numerically, yes, but instinctually feels small when walking the premises. Your brain instantly tries to render the optical illusion of how a Major League Baseball stadium would actually fit in this defined space. That is, until you realize Oracle Park in San Francisco sits on less than 13 acres total and doesn't feel overwhelmingly cramped. Number two, you've definitely seen those cranes on renderings and of course from a distance, they are even more imposing and magnificent up close and they are destined to be a defining landmark of this new ballpark. Four of them exist, two of them are gonna be moved to the south, the other two are going northward on those existing rails. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually become improved with maybe themed lighting or even bungee jumping, zip lining, who knows. Number three, much as this ballpark is about Oakland's baseball team getting a new home, so much of the local neighborhood infrastructure, it needs repairs and improvements. And I mean, there are train tracks with improper crossings and main roads that are crumbling right now. The project is sure to address all of this. Now, the shipping terminal has not been active since 2014 and presently it serves as a desolate parking lot. The other geographical realization after visiting Howard Terminal is how close and seamless it would be to Jack London Square and all of its amenities. Number four, we know the Bay Area is famous for its microclimates, but outside of small variances in wind velocity, weather conditions between the Coliseum and Howard Terminal should be very comparable, if not identical, on a given day or night. Now, due to sun angles, the baseball diamond will face easterly, which means the stadium structure will actually shelter fans and the playing surface from those typical onshore breezes out of the West. Last but not least at number five, in New York's baseball heyday, Yankee Stadium and Polo Grounds, can you believe this? Were separated by less than 5,000 feet across the Harlem River. Now, nothing may ever replicate that. However, the Howard Terminal Ballpark will only be 5.91 miles in a direct line from Oracle Park across the bay. In fact, that venue, plus the San Francisco skyline and the Oakland skyline, plus the East Bay Hills, all of that is visible from the Howard Terminal Project site, which does suggest that elevated views from maybe a second deck vista would be extraordinary from this new ballpark.